What's up, y'all? Today, I'm going to be going over the new bird cards and how they synergize with the new runes and charms. Now, multi-hit has been something I've always been itching to experiment in. However, in the past few seasons, it hasn't been that strong because you'd rather just play AoE, right? Uh, but when I got the rune and charm leaks for birds, I just got so excited to see the cards and I'm going to be sharing with you guys my live reaction. And I'm going to show you guys what I think is going to be strong, if this whole class has potential, and overall rating on a scale of 1 to 10. Alright, so first let's start off with the bird rune and charm changes, okay? So as you see here, they added three new things they got rid of incubator. The first one is tiny feather. I don't want to pay too much attention to the rare ones because most likely those won't scale late game, but I'll briefly go over them. When the battle starts, gain two feathers, this attack deals 10% more damage. That's almost irrelevant because the feather two feather boost is better uh there's better ways to apply that than taking up a whole rune slot for that and 10 percent bonus damage is almost laughable right uh energy guru is pretty much the same thing um oh actually it changed a little bit during even rounds gain one energy fragment whenever this actually deals uh whenever this actually attacks deal four damage per energy uh cost to all enemies okay so it's kind of like the old energy guru but got nerfed two damage but it did gain another effect where you get energy fragment every other round just at first thought that might be a good enough trade-off if i look at the bird cards and they do have like energy ramp as well but i doubt they do for this class so i'm just gonna overall say it's a nerf or worst case scenario uh, best case scenario just neutral okay uh sharp talent's pretty nice though 20 percent more damage against enemies that have no shield you guys have seen from other classes and the leaks of like the bug bug charms and runes that there are going to be very viable archetypes that don't have shield uh sorry the bugs apply that uh get the shield but the other classes you don't really see them have too much to do with anything with shield so this could potentially be nasty because um most comps in the game are, are aggro actually all right let's look at raven's tactic Raven's tactic is pretty much the same thing. Perfectly balanced rune, not too OP. Maybe a little more damage boost because it doesn't scale late game, but this thing is a god tier early and mid game. Sacred Fetter, this one's brand new. Solo, once per battle, this actually would die. So, uh, it survives with 1 HP, then heal for 5% of its max HP for each of its feather. What? Because you know, birds ramp up uh, feathers quickly. So it's kind of like a Focus Sash in Pokemon, huh? That's really nice, like the last stand rune kind of too. Afterwards, deal 20 damage to all enemies. Uh, is that just a flat damage or is it gonna scale further? I think it's just flat, so I'm still not too fussed about this because you don't really want runes, especially on a carry type of Axie, to be, um, maybe it could be a frontline, I don't know, but you don't, um, maybe someone could make it work frontline, but you you primarily want things that give you value throughout the whole game, not just when it dies, right? Oh, well, actually I kinda like it because the last stand had some viability as frontline. This thing, this thing might have potential. We'll see, we'll see. And then Feather descends a lot different. Solo, when this turn starts, this axe gains one feather. That's the same. Upon reaching uh, 10 stacks, you, get, uh, you add a Feather Dagger. Into your hand, into your hand is full. Is it that good though? Because if each Feather Dagger does like, let's say, I think it's, I think it's five damage and you get five extra, that's only 25 damage. Um, When the turn ends, the axe loses Feather equal to the number of Feather Daggers received this way. So it does, uh, Feathers do cap um, and, and it will lose some, but you know, you'll, you'll gain it back and whatnot. I think if the, depending on how quickly you could reach 10 stacks, this might be very, very OP. At first I was like, oh, it's just 5 damage, but then I'm like, oh, we gotta see the cards, we gotta see how fast we can build up feathers. I like it, I like it. So overall, looking at these, um, these are pretty much the same, pretty much the same. Uh, there's a little trade-off with these two now, not a big deal. Um, adds to feather, I don't know if that's worth 4 PP, depending on the cards. If the cards, you, you can build up feathers quickly, or there's a build where you want to keep ramping this up to continuously get that free damage in, this might be really nice. Um, this is really cool too, it's like Mask of Frenzy, but um, but feather form, right? But feather form. <laughs> on draw, 3 damage, all energies, I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, 3 PP, and you're only drawing one card in your deck. That does three to all enemies. Uh, I'd much rather have stats, to be honest. And Flamingo Ham will deal 10% damage against enemies affected by weak. Ooh, this could be really good. This has potential. This has potential. Uh, attack supply weak for two turns. So, so weak is really nice, right? Like the whole weak effect. Uh, it helps you be a lot tankier. But the main thing I like about this is it might work on AoE cards. So it's like kind of sticky goo, but you actually get like a, a damage uh, buff as well. All right, let's jump straight into the cards. Now, this is what I'm really looking forward to. Uh, let's scroll down to the new uh, text changes. Mavis, now um, you gain one energy fragment when your turn ends. Your opponent loses one energy fragment and Mavis loses eight HP. Um, the best thing about this is it might be, a, I don't know how viable it is because I need to see the rest of the uh, other classes cards, but there are going to be decks that like to ramp up and this is kind of like, this This kind of definitely messes up the tempo. This can be good. This can be good. And the thing about this Mavis is it scales late game. It's, it's building up for your late game rather than getting um, 
advantage you know the next turn you summon this is going to get advantage throughout the whole match uh if you summon the energy fragments are so crucial upon dying deal four damage to all enemies uh after the turn uh after the turn summon whenever an ally deals a direct hit increase the damage by four okay okay so you're basically ramping up the damage it would do when it dies oh my gosh i just realized something this works with multi-hit this works with multi-hit birds are all about multi-hit so i like that wow wow at the end of your turn, all allies gain 25 shield, so eggshell gives uh, shield to everyone. That sounds a little OP. Um, well, we have to see how eggshell changes, too. And a Cuckoo. Um, Cuckoo got nerfed. What the heck? Why don't you just let it do both? Not just one. Okay, it's whatever. Now, these are, this is the really important part. Feather. Deal one damage, uh, bonus damage per hit. Whenever this actually hits a target, increase the bonus damage to one. So, therefore, multi-hit will ramp it up a lot quicker. When this actually has no feathers, damage bonus is reset. So, if you build your, uh, your damage up to, like, 10 um but then you get rid of all your feathers then you don't get that ramp no more when this uh when your turn ends if this actually uses attack card it loses one feather that's not too bad that's that's really good that's really really good max stacks 10 so that, that's uh that's actually pretty nice and a feather dagger it does five damage like i said it goes along with the feather to send all right now let's go look into cards i know this is what you guys are all here for um maybe it's the same robin's the same the effects are different but you know it's still one energy cost Lucas, this is the same thing as all the other tutor cards. Uh, they now give you an option to either get from discard pile or draw pile. I like it a lot. Little Owl. I'm, I've always been a fan of Ill Owl, so let's see how it works. Still two hits, so that's 40 damage. Whenever played, this Axie's Little Owl cards gain one bonus hit for the rest of the battle. Only caps at four, though. Hmm. The first one's going to do 40, the second one's going to do 60, the third one's going to do 80, and you're going to do 80 for the rest. Oh, that's kind of nice. Wait, what the heck? Wait, that's... That's, that's Poggers. <laughs> Draw two, then discard two, and unstable. I don't know why they added unstable to these. Maybe there's something in the game that's going to make this a lot more OP. A new mechanic in the game that makes these more OP, but before, it's already a minus one, right? Uh, deal two hits, limit one, um, draw one card. Wow! So yeah, birds are all about multi-hit. I like this. Everyone's overreacting. I heard everyone's mad at bird cards, bird changes, but you just got to look at them in a new light and know that multi-hit now. Same thing over here, the owl. Fragile, all the fragile cards are the same. The target has weak deal 20. Yeah, these are the, the way these weak and fragile effects work, they work um, so that it's not too bad. It's not too bad if they already have the effect. Um, or you can't like permanently stack. If um, uh, uh, if initial deal 15 damage, uh, same thing, same thing for that. Double talk, randomly deal two hits, shuffle one. Oh, I'm getting rid of double talk, one of my favorite cards. Okay, so it's a, a curse. It adds curses uh, based off each enemy hit. So if it hits two, sometimes it'll hit one like Kataro, the Kataro uh, mouth. But if um, but if it doesn't hit multiple, you get add two curses. That's not too bad. Now let's look at the back cards though. Target or uh, let's go uh, from left to right. X, same thing. Um, if target has any shield, apply hex for four turns. Otherwise, push. oh, this is pretty good. This is really, really good. I, I, I like this. I like this because um, unlike the other effects, it, get, it gives you option of using uh, either Hex or Fear. Random deal two hits, apply weak for two turns. This is nice. You know, birds are going to be doing a lot of multi-hit, aka like fake AoE. And then um, and then it can be really tanky because of the weak too. Like weak is really nice. Now, this is, this is, cube is really interesting because before like, you know, using weak onto one axis, they just use other axis cards, not punish. But if you're dealing two weeks for one energy while doing 60 damage, like a standard card, that's really good. That's the same. This is different. Randomly deal three hits. All allied. Oh, so this is a feather ramper now. That makes more sense. Try feather, you know. It, it makes more sense to give it some kind of feather bonus, right? Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Same thing now. Egg show is different. What target any out? Apply egg show for four turns. Hey, this is not bad. You know why? Everyone, oh, I saw this on Twitter. Everyone's overreacting. They're like, egg shell, egg shell nerf. This is not bad because a lot of times in AoE slash multi-hit decks, you don't want to do too much damage to the front line, right? So now you're able to, you're able to kind of, because like, like the longer the game lasts, the more value you'll get as long as one axe is not dead. So this might be very, very good and it gives you an option to choose who to shield to, I guess. And 70 shield. So basically, think about this where you're not doing that 70 damage no more, but you're getting that 70 shield. That's honestly not too bad. Trump is boring. What the heck? Just randomly with three hits. Uh, 75 damage. Just try spikes. But onto three axes. Um, oh, it can hit any axis. Target any ally, apply a cuckoo. Oh, this actually can be good depending on ramping. So I'm uh, like I'm thinking you add like those things. Like you're just gonna be ramping a lot, whether through Robin, Feather, Sen, uh, just first glance. Um, and we can see how that damage feels with the new HP changes for axes too. Target ally, apply a coup. We don't like that. This is bad. <laughs> Uh, but you can choose who to go to now. Kestrel's really bad too. It's basically a Rhonda 
Um, you can dispel multiple times, which is nice, but you can't target. And still 50 damage. RIP disables the double talking Kestrel. Rarely deal three hits. Whenever a Winghorn. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's two energy though. Uh, whenever a uh, Winghorn kills a target or hits a target with above 6% HP, add two Feather Daggers to your hand. So you're dealing 120 damage plus the two Feather Daggers. That's 130. This is not bad for a two cost, especially with all, since all these horns look nerfed. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Deal two hits. This actually gains two Feathers. Uh, gain one bonus Feather for each spear in your deck. No, I don't. I still don't like spears. I saw the other one with bamboo shoot. They ch changed it to bamboo spear. Still not that great. Still not that great. Um, in my opinion. So this is a little different. Okay, this is the same. Consume up to three feathers. Still four hits. Uh, so now that it does more hits, um, it, the damage got nerfed. But overall, it might be stronger. So you can consume up to three. So you're gonna get an extra seventy five damage. That's not bad at all. So it's one hundred seventy damage. One hundred seventy five damage for two energy. Am I missing something? Or that's pretty pretty nasty. Last one, uh, same thing. Post fight got buffed. Uh, that's a lot of damage, by the way. Ninety. Uh, same thing as a risky card, I guess. Uh, so it's not too great. Attack all enemies. Okay, so this doesn't have vulnerable no more. But like I said, birds are more about building up feathers. Same thing with here. A uh, zero cost. This might be a uh, um, a bird's go to zero cost. So we're gonna have to see how all the numbers work out. Uh, me and my teammates should be doing crunching some numbers later to see how viable bird ramping is. Well, the like you know combining like how many of these do we need to reach 10 i think we're gonna be mainly playing around feather to descent huh but overall yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video um if you guys will look in the marketplace right now um even if people think our birds are underwhelming i think it has potential especially with one month testing they might get buffed so i'm gonna personally look to snag up a few especially since the triple owl parts aren't too great so i don't know if i want to build like a feather ramping bird or uh or uh a triple owl bird but uh, we'll see maybe a little mixture on all maybe all bird con we'll see we'll see it's possible anyways make sure you guys like comment subscribe hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts and everything like that i'll catch you next time bye bye